We've done shows on HGH. Mm -hmm. It's controversial. Mm -hmm. um, I know a lot of folks in Hollywood use it. Mm -hmm. That always makes me a little wary, I gotta say, when a lot of like you know stars are using it and stuff. Why do you say HGH? What has it done for you? Well, I, I do my research. I don't just, because the doctor says, here, why don't you have this? The hormone system is, is like a symphony. And you can, you can um, put on the symphony if a lot of the players don't show up. It sounds better with the French horns, and it sounds better with the string section. Uh, if you don't have Zubin Mehta showing up, it's all kind of discordant, so that would be your thyroid, adrenal, cortisol. So HGH is like the KISS. HGH is um, uh, expensive, uh, and it's determined by lab work if you have a deficiency. It builds bone, it builds muscle, it um, is, um, uh, strengthens the heart, the pumping power of the heart. Uh, once I started adding HGH to the concoction, I don't know, I, I don't have trouble with my weight, I, I sleep eight hours a night, everything is working as though my body was at its healthiest optimal prime. Now, athletes overuse it. Athletes use, in many cases, a hundred times more than physiologic doses. I use only what my lab work shows as my deficiency. And the lab work that you do is to determine your IGF-1, which, which is insulin growth factor one. That's the only way you can determine it. And um, at different times of the day, it will be different. But my uh, needs are a 0 .08, not even one.